Tell me how you feel about the lag so far, Joe. I think the school ruined my oof. Welcome to another day in the lag when it wasn't pouring non-stop rain. With a break in the system, we decided to just explore the city with no plans, completely winging it and just walking and discovering. First, we were hungry. Okay, I have no idea if this place is any good, but it's busy. So two things came out already that the lack is known for, right? One of which is bunny sumai, which is these uh, meatballs with the broth. The broth is really the best thing. This is a wow, it's so salty and sweet. It's a specialty for breakfast. You dip the bread in like this. Everybody has eaten manuk before, I'm sure. That is insanely delicious. It's, it's, um, it's a fish sauce based thing because the manuk itself is just rice cake, right? It doesn't taste like anything, but you add the fish sauce in it. It's wonderful. And then the organ meat with the uh, peppers in there. It really brings out the flavor. Okay, so this ban kan is not what you think. It's not udon noodles. This is kind of like a ban kok with eggs and a bunch of different proteins like squid, shrimp, beef, it looks like a pork, I'm not sure, and eggs. I want to try the egg one first. It has to bathe. You know, it's got to go bathing in there if you really want actual flavor because it doesn't taste like anything. Mm. Okay. Okay, the verdict is in. You can skip this. Ban kan and dalak is there. Definitely try the ban uk long I really like that combination. But my favorite thing has to be the sumai with the bread. Five minutes later, it's not so sunny anymore, guys. It is raining again in dalak. And this right here is Ho Sung Hung. It is the central lake here in dalak. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> what is that? Green soft serve. Green soft serve, yeah. Ah, okay. So this is the first time I'm this close to the soft serve. This is a very Instagrammable spot. And look at everybody taking pictures. <laughs> we don't know how to pose at all. <laughs> I can pose like a... The, the... This is the square, the Wang Chung. And most major cities in Vietnam will have a square. And this behind Zhou is actually a flower. It symbolizes the lack. And that over there is actually an artichoke. Ah, not a soft serve. I like this place, but the weather keeps changing. First it rains and it's sunny and then it's windy and then it's sunny again and then it rains again. It's like April in Germany. So all over the lack, you're gonna find these ladies who have a charcoal grill in the streets. Hopefully you're under an umbrella. They call it a Vietnamese pizza. But there are a lot of people who say pizza from Vietnam. Do you know pizza? Do you know pizza? Okay. They got mayonnaise. Hey, you want it, man? It's hot sauce. They rip out a, a child's school book. Yeah, damn it. As the rapper. Joe's first. Ban Chang Nu. It's very hot. Mm. So sweet. Remember, Joe is from the north, and southern and northern Vietnamese palates can be quite different. When I first came to Vietnam, uh, when I was traveling alone, I didn't know Gao meant train station. I thought Jam Se Luo was a train station. And I was looking for Gao in Hue, and I couldn't find it. I thought Gao meant chicken. The lack train station. Oh, this is so cool. They actually draw your face out of wood. Where? Oh, old old trains and stuff. And more people taking pictures. I didn't realize that this was a functioning train place. That's scary. That's really scary here. Wow. <laughs> Where do you even go? I think maybe you have to buy a ticket or something out there. We were going to take the train somewhere, but uh, Joe has to really pee. <laughs> and there's no toilet paper here, so we have to um, just skip this and go to a cafe. Still, Dala. Oh, look at this. So upon entering, you order drinks here. 
and then you can find the spot to sit in here. It's like a courtyard full of seats. What I'm having now is gambo. And this is also another specialty of the lap. Never had this before. It's avocado, ice cream. Kind of like a smoothie, but. You really do need to move to the lap. What? You know, I usually don't like matcha stuff, but I still try it. Yeah. Just if you probably <clears throat> might like it because some places are good, some places it just, it just tastes fishy at some places with this. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe you should move to Dala. Mm. So that cafe is just located right in the middle of uh, this quiet alley full of people's homes. And I just found it by just randomly searching cafe when we were at the train station. What can we find next, I wonder? Uh, uh, might find, might, might, might find, find a monkey in this neighborhood. He's uh, my grandma's my, uh, neighbor as <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> Sorry, no monkeys here, but I found the next best thing just down the street. Uh, we we're just walking and I found this makeshift side of the road place right here. The road is there. This place is here. And they have um, one of my favorite things. And Joe, you've never seen me eat this? I try not to look at it. You're, like, you're just dissecting the whole thing. I would just eat the, the baby in one, one bite without looking. No, I'm looking. Don't look. I'm oh looking. my god. Oh. Oh. Ah, I should have looked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I eat chicken nuggets, so it's not much better than this. It's just that chicken nuggets are blended. This one, this, this thing isn't. This is my favorite kind of apple, apple, apple snails. And you dip it in nukmam gug, fish sauce with ginger. It is mm, the perfect combination. Yeah, this is just like escargot, but better. Way more flavor. Okay, just eat this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. Get some of that ginger in there. The butt part, the end part, that's the best part. Yeah. Isn't that the... Really? Yeah, really? it's the best part. Really? Yeah, eat it. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. Thumbs up for Chow for being fearless and eating whatever is in front of her. Most people I know won't even eat balut. I can't even look at what's inside. Can you eat balut? Okay, we are making our way back to the other side of the lake and look at this square at night, guys. Look how full of people. The lights are twirling around the artichoke. But again, I kind of want a snow cone. The lac really lights up at night. It's just so beautiful here, especially when it's not too crowded. When night falls, there are certain rituals for me at the night market. So I knew exactly what I was looking for. Oh, I'm I'm ăn. Không dùng nước ngoài. Ờ không. Ờ không, em ăn em là hướng dẫn viên thôi. Ai vô đó? Ờ, em là hướng dẫn viên. Hướng dẫn viên à? Vâng, em hướng dẫn. Các bạn nhìn cái trang người thái đồ kiểu luôn đó. All right, so it's pouring rain and uh again and uh this is what you got to do. That's the first time eating. This is the first time eating bentiu? Yes. Really? I think so. Wow. Yeah, I just forgot all my chocolate. It's okay. I forgot most things too. But I can never forget bentiu. Bentiu brings me back to a banmi chair place when I wasn't even tall enough to reach over the counter where the bentiu's were to remove the clouded lid to get to the clamps to pick one up. Or was it in a dark Vietnamese supermarket? Either way, thank you mom and dad. The subtle sweet smells, the little sesame seeds sticking in between my teeth, the greasy fingers. This was my childhood away from Vietnam, but still, 
very much Vietnamese. But why is it even called Ban Tiu? Is there even pepper in it? What's your favorite part of the lake so far? Soi Mun. Really? Again, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, you can walk a lot if it's uh, raining too much. Yeah. yeah. You can walk, yeah. Look how busy it is here, everybody. Wow. Look how busy the steps are at night. I think we're going to wrap it up uh, from the center of the Dalak Jodim night market. And we'll see you guys in the next video. It's been a long enough video, I think, right? I don't know. Has it? A lot. I think so. Goodbye, guys. Follow us on social media. Follow Joe on Instagram, by the way. Follow me as well. See you in the next Dalak video. I've been Kyle Lay. That was a day in Dalak. Come back for the next video because we'll be exploring the best must-eat hot pots in the city. See you soon.